Hey guys, welcome to the Karma House in Ubud, Bali. Still filming here, feeling super grateful to have such a beautiful space to practice in. Uh, today, what I want to share with you guys is a more powerful and fiery practice, at least powerful and fiery for me. Uh, many, many people um, are loving vinyasa these days, but I like to approach it more from a hatha perspective and slowing things down but making it strong. So many times we think that we need to move really fast through our vinyasa practice, through our through our hatha practice, but the reality is is that when we really take time to settle into the poses and uh, just sink in and see what comes up, the muscles begin to activate, we begin to sweat, we begin to see the real beauty, the real challenge of the pose, and we begin to create a relationship with that. So that's what I want to do today. There will be power, uh, it will be fiery, but it will also be gentle enough to allow you to kind of settle in and create a relationship with your postures. So I invite you to start with me on the yoga mat today in Downward Facing Dog. So starting in downward facing dog, first thing in any power flow is that we want to really press the heels down, slight bend in the knees if we have tight hamstrings, and press through the fingers nice and wide. Have the hips up nice and high, shoulder blades moving down the back. And let's just do a couple of plank rolls here to really stoke that fire for practice today. So take an inhale, come forward like a wave into your plank position. On an exhale, bend the knees almost to touching the ground. Bring the hips back and up like a roll, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank, roll forward, head comes out last. Exhale, bend the knees almost to touching the ground. Press the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Again, inhale forward, wave. Exhale, bend the knees, almost to touching the ground. Sink the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Very good. Bring the big toes closer together. Lift the right leg up into the air. Exhale, knee to nose, curl in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl in, pause here, really press through the fingers, knee towards the nose, and set the right foot down at the front of the yoga mat. Peel the chest up, low lunge with the hands down. Step forward, fold. Clasp the thumbs together, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, rise up, reach up, slight back bend. And exhale, bow forward. Hands to the lower back, create a fist, press the fist up and back. Let go of the bind, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back with the right foot. Look forward, low lunge on that left foot now. Plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, curl in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl, pause here. And then step the left foot back, plank pose. Pull the belly up. Round the upper back lightly. Nice long line from crown to heels. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward. Sink the left heel down 45 degrees. Make sure the feet are further apart in width here. Bend the right knee, reach up halfway with the arms. And then all the way up, warrior one. Bend the elbows, take a hold of opposite elbows. Head through the center. Find a slight back bend, open the chest. Sink in to your warrior one. We stay here, building heat. Bend into that right knee, ground through the feet. Scissor the inner thighs together. Maybe the head relaxes on to the forearms. Inhale, 
Inhale, open the feet up, wide warrior two. Keep the arms here. Look forward towards the right, deep bend in the right knee. Open the chest. On the next inhale, extend the arms out, warrior two arms. Palms shining down. Put strength into the arms. That way if somebody were to come around and push them down, that there'd be strength back. So they're not just hanging out in space, they're activated. Flip the right palm, inhale. Exhale, bring the right arm up overhead, back behind you. Maybe look towards that left foot. And come to side angle. So right elbow on the right knee, left arm stretching up and open. So to make this more challenging, stretch the right arm up and open as well. If this doesn't feel good, keep the right elbow down, but find length through the side bodies, engage through the core. And inhale, warrior two. Straighten the right leg, maybe bring the left foot in just a bit, trikonasana. So stretch the right arm forward, down towards the right shin, left arm up. Engage through the belly here. So that right hand could just float away from the shin. We're not leaning onto the right shin. And challenge, left arm stretches forward, right arm stretching forward. Turn and look towards the ceiling, engage through the belly. Here's the tough one. Bend the right knee. Bring the right hand down and forward, left arm up, half moon pose. So try to stack the left hip on top of the right, maybe have a block at the right hand, or have it onto the earth. Nice and open. And step the left foot down, warrior two. On the exhale, windmill the hands down to the earth. Step back to a plank, pause here. Really press through the palms, stay lifted, engage through the belly. Inhale. Exhale, come down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, back to a push-up. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe. And step the left foot forward. Bring the right heel down, nice wide stance. Warrior one, reach forward, inhale. And all the way up, sink into the left knee. Bend the elbows, take a hold of opposite elbows, open the chest. Maybe the head sinks back, slight back bend, pause here. If you can bend deeper into that left knee, do press through the feet, scissor the inner thighs. Build the heat. And open up, warrior two. Keep the arms, open the chest up. On the next inhale, open the arms, warrior two arms. Press the palms out and then down towards the earth. Sink into that left knee if you can. Bend the left elbow, stretch the right arm up and forward. Find some length through the right side. Maybe looking up. Come up, warrior two. Straighten the left leg, shorten the stance a bit here. Reach forward with the left arm, bring it down. Right arm reaching up. So engage to the core here, and then maybe stretch the right arm forward, stretch the left arm forward. In 
inhale, come back up, warrior two. Bend the left knee, reverse your warrior. Left arm stretching up and back, look towards the right foot, inhale. And hands down to the earth. Step back to a plank, pause here. And I see that we did not do half moon on that side, so we'll go ahead and do that. Press back, downward facing dog. Again, step that left foot forward. This gives us that chance. Lift the right leg up, hands in front of you. Stack the right hip open over the left, right arm stretching up and open. Find your half moon. Maybe the left hand stays down on the earth. Maybe you fall out. Happens all the time. Really engage the belly, keep the chest lifted. Press that right heel back behind you if it's lifted. And set the right foot down, warrior two. Inhale. And exhale, hands to the earth. Step back to plank, pause here and breathe. So now we arrive here again. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, come halfway down. Inhale, back to plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here, five breaths, ground in. And walk the hands back towards the feet. Take a forward fold at the back of your yoga mat. Feet are hip width distance apart. Take a hold of opposite elbows and just rock from side to side. So going to get a little bit playful here. Just to move a little bit, to get the hips open. Bring the hands to the earth, let the feet go a little bit wider. Sink the hips. We're gonna come into a couple of frog jumps. So not bringing the hands too far forward. Bring the hands forward, kick the feet up, set them back down. Hands forward, kick the feet up, set them back down. Forward, up, down. Forward, up, maybe hang time, and down. Forward, up, and down once again. Forward, up, and down. Sink the hips, open the chest. And we're gonna go backwards on the yoga mat. So a little bit more tough, press into the palms. Kick the feet back a little bit, sink the hips. Press the palms, lift the hips, sink the feet, fold. Press the palms, lift the hips, sink the feet, Open the chest. Press the palms, lift the feet, sink the hips back. Last one. Press palms, sink down. And at the back of the yoga mat, find your yogi squat. So palms together, heels on the ground. You can find a little bit of movement from side to side. And then just allow the hands to come down and find a bit of movement. So just natural movement. So we're just frogs, so we can be playful. Let the knees go from side to side. Maybe they bend back behind you, coming to the outer blades of the feet. Just find some organic movement. And come back to center, lift the hips up, and bring the feet in a bit. We're going to take Bacassan at the back of the mat. So pressing the palms into the earth, Rounding the upper back slightly, bring the feet behind the wrists. Knees into the back of the armpits, lean the weight forward. Maybe you stay here, or maybe lifting up the left toes, maybe lifting up the right toes, hugging the feet into the glutes, looking forward. Try to stay here for as many breaths as you feel safe, keeping the elbows wrapped in. And set the feet down. Let the hips go wide. 
and we're gonna froggy to the front of the mat once more. So this time I really want you to press into the palms and try to have a little bit of hang time. So hips stacking over the shoulders. So press the palms in, inhale. Exhale, press and lift, come back down. Press and lift, come back down. Keep moving to the front of your yoga mat. Pressing, engaging through the core, maybe hanging in the air for a moment. Last one. Maybe you're able to stack the hips over the shoulders. Drop back down, hands to the heart. And bring the hands out in front of you. Let the feet be pointing forward as you reach forward. Come up halfway, engaging through the muscles in the legs. Sink the hips. Inhale, rise up. Very good. Exhale, hands to heart. Bring the hands alongside the body, palms shining forward. Shut the eyes down. Feel the heart racing a bit more here. Allow the jawline to relax, allow the shoulders to relax. Maybe shrug the shoulders back a couple of times. Shrug them forward. And step the feet together, open the eyes. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, bow down. Inhale up halfway, hands to shins. And exhale, plant the hands. Bend the right knee deeply. Bring the right fingertips in front of the left foot, left arm stretching up. So if you're really tight, you might need a block under this right hand. Left arm stretches up, look up towards the ceiling. So as much as we want strength, we want range of mobility. So we begin to work into our twists to detoxify the belly and also to find length here through the arm lines. Come back down, bend the left knee significantly, keep the left fingertips down, right arm stretching up. And bring the right hand down to the earth. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank. Bring the big toes together and bring the left arm stretching up, side plank. Keep the hips up nice and high. If you need to modify, you can drop the right knee down. If you want to amplify, you can lift the left leg up. Making this more challenging, you can look up towards the ceiling. And then come back to plank. Lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. No vinyasa. Press back, downward facing dog. Breathe here. So we always think that we need those vinyasas to find a power practice. We don't need them. They're just filler. We can fill them with chaturangas and with side planks. Come forward to a plank. Lift the right arm up, side plank here. Modify by dropping the left knee or amplify by lifting the right leg and looking up. Bring the right hand down, lower halfway. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take the feet slightly apart, maybe hip width. Bend the knees and bring the left foot on top of the right knee, sink the hips back. So it's kind of like figure four downward facing dog. Switch sides, left foot down, right foot on top of the left knee, sink the hips back. Set the right foot down. Lift the left leg into the air behind you. Bend the left knee, stack the left hip open. Slowly flipping your dog over. Left arm stretching forward. 
Keep the belly nice and open here. Let the head drop back. And slowly flipping back over, downward facing dog. Pausing here if you need rest or inhale forward to a plank. Lower halfway. Inhale back up. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bend the right knee, open the hips. Set the right foot down behind you, flipping open. Right arm stretching forward. And slowly coming back, downward facing dog. Staying here, or for more challenge, inhale forward to plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. And slowly walk the feet forward, halfway up the mat. Bend the knees, sink the hips down, and sit. Stretch the legs forward. So we're gonna work with a little bit of the balance and the core here. Bend the left knee, bring it in close towards the glute. Can bring the right hand to the outside of the left foot, left hand to the inside of the left foot. Stretch the leg forward. So if you need to bend the knee and it's difficult to lengthen it, that's completely fine. Stay here. Nice and open in the chest. Keep the right hand on the outside of the left foot, but open the left arm out to the left side, opening the chest. So we're working with our balance here, working with the core. To make this more challenging, reach the left arm back as you lift the right leg. Really engage through your core. Lift it even higher. Slowly bringing the left arm through forward. Reach the arms up. Keep both legs lifted for five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Sink down. Whew. Bend the right knee. Bring it close towards the glute. Left hand to the outside of the right foot. Right hand to the inside. Begin to straighten the right leg forward. Open chest. Keep the left hand on the outside. Stretch the right arm back and open. Begin to lift the left leg up for more balance and core. Slowly bring the right arm forward. Lift both arms up. Lift both feet up. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Sink it down. Not done just yet. Bend the knees. Lift the legs. Navasana boat pose. Arms go forward. Nice open chest. Lengthen the legs for more challenge. And set the feet down. Take a hold of the shins. Let the head drop through center. And deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Slowly come up to a seat, looking forward. And that's our nice little power flow for today. So thank you guys for joining me. A nice little fiery practice. The time goes by very quickly on those. Uh, I would always encourage pairing that with maybe a nice yin practice afterwards or some sun salutations um, beforehand if you're wanting a longer practice. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me today for a little power half hour. And uh, you can find more videos of mine online at uh, youtube.com backslash echo Giselle Widmer. 
And to find out about retreats and trainings, you can go to my website, which is echoflowyoga.com. You'll find uh, the information down below in the description. So thank you guys for joining me. Namaste.